Hi everyone, I'm Alejandra from Alejandra.tv and in this video I'm going to show you how to pack a carry-on suitcase uh, and also use packing cubes. Uh, if this is your first time watching any of my videos, you can check out my website Alejandra.tv for more tips on how to travel efficiently um, and pack efficiently. And you can also check out my free organizing video series on three things to do tonight to feel more organized when you wake up tomorrow. Okay, so when it comes to packing a carry-on suitcase, what I've been doing for like my whole life is, you know, you just fold everything and you put it inside the suitcase and you're good to go. Everything's neat and organized. But um, I've always seen like packing cubes in the stores and I've always wondered like why would somebody use a packing cube? Like just put stuff inside the suitcase and you know, it's functional, it's good to go. But my friend Angela um, was talking to me and she was like, have you ever used the Eagle, Eagle Creek packing cubes? And I was like, no, I've seen them, but I've never used them. And she was saying how she bought them and they've just like revolutionized the way that she packs and she feels so much more efficient. So I was like, you know what? I was like, maybe I'll try them because a lot of people use them. And so I've always wondered. So, so I was thinking, I was like, well, if I, if I find them for a good price, I'll buy them because I'm fine packing as is. And so I know that uh, Nordstrom Rack carries Eagle Creek packing cubes and they have them for 50% off of the retail price. So I went to Nordstrom Rack and um, I found like the same exact packing cubes that are in the retail store and they were 50% off and they had like an awesome selection. So I bought those and I'm going to show you what they look like inside the suitcase. Uh, but first, one more thing before I get to the video. Um, if you go to Nordstrom Rack, they are in the men's shoe section is where you'll find all the Eagle Creek packing cubes. Okay. So let me show you inside. That was kind of a really long intro, but you know, sometimes you just need to give some background information. All right, so here's my suitcase. And actually, one more thing. So I've shown this suitcase in another video and a lot of people ask where it's from. I got it from TJ Maxx like eight years ago. It's Diane von Furstenberg. And um, it's hot pink on the outside and bright yellow on the inside. It's really fun. It's also really old, so I don't think you can buy it anymore. But TJ Maxx has an awesome selection of um, travel stuff. Okay, so this on top, I'm gonna save for the video after this. So if you're watching this video, that video will be next. Um, but okay, so basically on top here is where I have a packing list. So depending upon the season and where I'm going, if I'm going somewhere warm, I will pack my uh, beach packing list or my beach house packing list. And then if I'm going somewhere cold, I'll pack my, um, my winter getaway packing list. And all the packing lists are on my website, allhundred.tv. I'll put links below um, to where you can find them. All right, so this is the beach packing list. And what I do is I laminate it and I pack it with me. So I laminate it because I like to reuse it over and over and over. And when you laminate something, you create like a plastic, you know, it's plastic. So you can just use a dry erase marker and check things off as you, um, as you pack things inside. And so this particular pack packing list has like, you know, the main list on the front and then it's blank on the back. So you can type your, um, your list if the front doesn't, um, you know, doesn't work for the stuff that you're packing. All right, so it's laminated, and then I pack the packing list with me, so when I'm packing to go home, like I'm packing in the hotel room before I leave, I will go through the checklist again and make sure I pack everything back inside the suitcase. So use it to pack, and then use it to pack when you're going home. So you use it twice. <clears throat> All right, that was a lot of explaining for, you know, just the packing list, but that's what I do. All right, so, on top here, I have my towel. So when I was using the packing cubes, I was like, there's really no point in packing like something really bulky inside the packing cube because it's just gonna take up the main packing cube. So I'll just put it on top. So you could do that for like a towel, a um, like a sweatshirt, a jacket, any kind of bulky sweater or anything like that. So this is just folded nicely on top. Okay, so this is where I get to all the packing cubes. So trying them out and packing in stuff. I just feel so organized. I feel so much more efficient. I feel like ready for the trip because everything is sorted by category. Everything is containerized inside the suitcase. So when I get to my destination, I just come here and I literally just like take out all the packing cubes and just put them inside the dresser and everything like takes like less than a minute and you're unpacked. So super efficient. So let me just go through the categories and show you um, you know, what I put inside each packing cube. All right, so this is the medium cube, and I think this was like $5, I think it was like five bucks, and it's regularly, regularly like 10 bucks. Um, 
All right, so this is the medium size, and I just put all my shirts in here. And the best way to pack to save space and be efficient is to roll everything. So, for example, all my shirts are rolled, and I'm just going to show you how I rolled them. So basically, you just take your t-shirt, just like that, and you roll it into, th or you fold it into thirds. This is kind of hard to show on camera, but I'm just going to fold it once, and then fold it twice. I feel like this is going to be really messy because I'm doing it in the air, but you guys get the point. And then you just roll it, just like this. And then you just stick it in here. Yeah, that was a messy roll, but you guys can see what I'm trying to do. Okay, so then all my workout clothes are in this one, and again, everything is just rolled um, to save space. All right, and then my pants and jeans are all in this one. And then my pajamas, bathing suit, and then um, I have like a beach dress is inside this one. So, uh, and I forgot if I said that this is the medium size one, um, but they make a larger one. So, because I feel like if I use the medium size one for like Ed's jeans or something, like it, they would probably fit like one pair inside of one of them. And then it would just be a waste of space. But they make larger ones, um, you know, depending upon the size of your clothes. All right. And then inside the smaller cubes, um, so I just have my underwear inside this one. Um, I have my, um, this is like electronics and chargers and stuff. And I'm going to show you how to, uh, fold like one of these wires. So sometimes I just use a rubber band to fold them. Um, but if you don't have a rubber band, it's really easy to fold. And Ed taught me how to do this, but basically, and <laughs> I don't know if I've ever shown this, but I just label the sides of my chargers with like what the charger goes to. So I always know. So this one says iPad and I use a yellow label tape. So it stands out. Okay. Um, minor side note, but all right. So I just take this and then I, um, fold it or wrap it around like the, the big side of my hand, just like that. And then I just leave like this amount dangling and then I just take it off my hand and then I kind of pinch it together like an eight and then just wrap this around just like that. Make sure you go around at least twice to get a nice tight wrap and then just take the end of the charger, the one that you plug into your device. I think I wrapped it too tight, but you can just take that and <laughs> you put it inside just like that. And yeah, that's like a perfect, you have a nice, um, you know, folded cord, just like that. That's not going to unravel when it's inside your back. All right. Then I have my camera in here and then I have some earbuds. So this is my little technology, um, you know, my little technology thing. And this is the small size of, um, the packing cubes. All right. And then I have socks inside here and then oh, my foot just fell asleep. <laughs> Um, I have all of my toiletries inside of my toiletry bag, which I did a video on, um, a while ago or no, not a while ago, but recently I'll put a link to the video in the description. And then I have my flat iron inside of my heat resistant, um, flat iron organizer, which means you can put it, you, you can put it hot inside here and it's not going to melt or damage the material. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then... I have, so up here, I just put all of my, um, my shoes. So Eagle Creek makes like packing, um, they make packing cubes for shoes and it's really big, but I was thinking, I didn't see it at Nordstrom Rack and I didn't want to pay full price for it. So I was like, well, what's wrong with what I've been doing my whole life? I've just been using a plastic bag just like this and just putting the shoes in here so the dirt on the bottom of the shoes don't get onto any of the clothes inside the bag. And actually that's another cool thing about the packing cubes is like nothing's gonna get dirty because they're inside these packing cubes and they're also ventilated so they can still breathe. Okay, so shoes are inside these plastic bags. We also, we also can do, also can do, <laughs> um, is take a, um, a shower cap, like either one that you have or you get from the dollar store or something, or just take the free ones you get inside the hotel bathrooms and use that to wrap your shoes so the dirt stays inside the shower cap and not anywhere else in your suitcase. But yeah, I just use a plastic bag. And here's my other one, just like that. And then my flip-flops are inside of another um, plastic bag also. And then I always keep extra plastic bags with me um, because like, you know, for dirty laundry or for anything else, 
you know, that you want to protect, maybe something's wet or something, um, or smelly, just put them inside here. And then sometimes for laundry, you know, if I'm staying in a hotel, I'll just use the laundry bag that they give you inside the closet. I never do laundry inside the hotel, but I'll just still use that bag for my dirty laundry and then just put that inside here. And then the top part here, um, because I pack so efficiently inside the main case, inside like the main suitcase, I didn't really need this space. Like I have one thing in here and I have my brushes for, you know, for doing my hair and stuff. So that just stays inside here. This is not a packing cube. This is a, well, I guess it is a packing cube, but it goes to my Zuka suitcase and they just fit nicely in here. So that stays on the top part. So yeah, that's how I pack my carry-on suitcase. Everything is really efficient. It's all about efficiency when you're going to carry on your suitcase because it's a smaller suitcase. And so, um, you know, you're trying, to find, you're trying to fit all the things you need inside one small space. So rolling them, using packing cubes, and just like, you know, paring down to really the essentials of what you need on your trip is the key to packing efficiently and, um, you know, having everything that you need on your trip. So if you want more travel tips, you can visit my website, alejandro.tv, where you'll find all the travel checklists and, um, you know, there's, um, you know, not only the packing list, but like other fun travel things like a license plate game and other, yeah, fun travel checklists. Um, okay, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.